In today's world, more and more of our interactions are happening via lenses, microphones, and speakers. It's almost becoming more familiar to have a conversation via a screen than it is in person. Even now, you're watching me through a screen and you're hearing my voice through a microphone. Here at Midwitch, we have an exciting new partnership with one of the leading video conferencing vendors, that is Yaelink. I'm Louis, this is Midwitch TV, and in this video, I'm gonna be introducing you to Yaelink's Android meeting bar solutions that are the A20 and the A30. So before we get some kit out and we dive into technology, let's talk about Yealink and who they are as a brand. Yealink were established in 2001 and ever since then, they have stuck to their mission statement that is to become a world leader in video conferencing hardware. All we have to do is look at today's market and you can see that Yealink are one of the top five brands working in the UC space. And if you're a partner and you're supporting people in that unified communications market, Yealink are definitely a brand you want to be considering. Now, now, you may or may not be aware, Midwich has a 50,000 square foot demo facility located in Bracknell. We call it Innovation House. Since our partnership with Yealink, we have started distributing their portfolio across that demo facility so you can bring your partners down and get some hands-on experience with all of their kit. It is very important to us here at Midwich that we are supporting our partners with all of the latest and greatest technology. Now, if you're looking for an out-of-the-box solution or you're looking for that unique, tailored meeting room experience, Yealink have you covered. Yealink have a vast offering when it comes to meeting room solutions of which we just don't have enough time to cover all of them in one video. So to introduce Yealink nicely, I'm gonna lead with their Android meeting bars. These meeting bars and house video conferencing kit as well as full audio solutions, almost like your out of the box experience when it comes to Yealink. Now, depending on which model you go for will depend on whether or not you're deploying into a small room or maybe into a medium to large style meeting room. Now it's about time we got the hardware out so we can get some hands on with the products. So in front of me now, I have the A20 and the A30 meeting room bars. Now, before we look at the hardware features and what you get in these packages, I can hear you asking already, what happens if I am a Zoom native end user or a Teams native end user, but I need to accept third party invitations to the alternative platform? Well, no need to worry, Yealink have the answer for you. Using Android's guest join feature, both of these devices can get you in and out of those alternative platforms without needing to worry or do anything fancy. You walk into the meeting room, you press join, and the device will take you into the call. Yealink have also thought about those environments where you like to set up the bring your own device style meeting rooms. Now, if you pair even one of these bars with this unit just here, it's the VCH51, you can enable these devices to become USB peripherals. This giving you a fully agnostic meeting room space with the addition of just this piece of hardware. Now, it makes sense that we start with the A20. This unit has been designed for the smaller style meeting room. To put that into perspective, we'd be looking at a two to six person headcount. Inside this bar, we have one camera that is 120 degree field of view, eight times zoom, and a 20 megapixel sensor. On an audio front, we have eight microphones phones in this device and a five watt speaker. Perfect for that small environment. Now, a really nice unique feature about this bar is that Yealink have given us the ability to pair this with a dual screen deployment. In smaller rooms, we tend to find screen sizes come down, so sometimes content and people on the same display can get a little bit messy. Well, using the dual screen layout on these, you can make the most of that content by splitting people and content across two individual screens. A really nice feature in a small form factor like the A20. A20 to one side, in front of me now, I have the A30. And as you can see, there are some quite distinct differences between the two meeting bar options. Firstly, you'll notice this comes with two cameras. One camera is an optical camera with 10 times hybrid zoom. The other camera is a 120 degree fixed wide angle digital camera. Those cameras work together to perfectly capture people who are sat further away from the device or really close up to the device. On an audio front, again, it has eight microphones inside this device, 
but where it differs from the A20 is it has two 5 watt speakers. Those two speakers giving you the additional audio for that larger space. Now let's say you deploy one of these and you find it isn't capturing enough audio in your meeting room. Yealink have thought about this. You can pair this with some of the other microphones in the Yealink range so you can stretch that microphone capture just that little bit further. Also if you are using a dual screen setup in your larger meeting room this bar is perfectly suited for that too as it does come with dual output capability. Now we've taken time to talk about differences but let's talk about some similarities across the range. The AI technology behind the cameras in these units are shared across the A20 and the A30. Be that speaker tracking, auto framing or smart gallery features. On an audio side, both the units again house the same technology. They've got noise cancellation as well as Yealink's acoustic shield technology. From a control perspective, both units are controlled via Yealink's touch panel for a nice easy end user intuitive environment. Content sharing is another key thing we find in meeting room spaces and that can be done in a couple of different ways. You've got the VCH51 for that hardwired experience, you've also got Yealink's WPP20 for that wireless content sharing. Now if a wired option isn't the way you want to go and you do want to still get a bring your own device style meeting room, soon you will be able to pair these units with Yealink's WPP30. That way you've got a fully agnostic space and you can use it with your laptop completely wirelessly for that bring your own device style meeting room. Now videos are great but the one thing they do lack is that hands-on experience. Earlier in the video I did mention that Midwich have a 50,000 square foot demo facility located down in Bracknell that we call Innovation House. This space is the perfect place for you to come down, get some hands-on and fully understand in person the capabilities of this technology. We will be rolling out Yealink hardware in that demo facility so you can come on down and get some hands-on experience as well as bring some end users to introduce them as well. If you want to book in a session either head on over to the online form which we will link in the description below or drop your account manager a message and they will happily book you in a slot. If you've got some questions please do feel free to leave us a comment below or send an email to ucc at midwitch.com where one of the UCNC team can get back to you and hopefully get all those questions answered. If you do want to read up on product sheets head on over to the Midwitch site because we do have product pages which will include PDFs to the data sheets. I'm Louis, you've been watching Midwitch TV. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe and make sure to hit that bell notification icon so you can stay up to date with all the content we're putting out across the channel. Cheers for joining me and I'll catch you in the next video.